to today's vlog today is another monday <laughs> funny enough i'm always starting these um, vlogs on a monday i guess i'm sort of covering the entire week um today's monday and i am taking zoe to um mind body baby in centurion um this is sort of like so what do i what do I even call it? It's like a baby spa that uses um, aquatics to exercise a baby's muscles, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Um, yeah, not too clued up about the description of it. But it's basically baby swimming or like baby flotation. Yeah, baby flotation. I think that's that's the right word for it so I'm taking her to that today it's actually her very first session I used to take Micah to these um, when he was still a baby and we started quite young um, I think with Micah I started at about a month or two um, but with Zoe I don't know I just yeah um, I just procrastinated it so today is her first session um, and yeah I think she's gonna do flotation because there's different levels depending on how old your baby is so she's four months well for almost five months um, so she's gonna be doing flotation and then I think from six months they do aquatics so they actually get inside the water without the the flotation um, tube I think it's called yeah anyway I'm rambling <laughs> um, yeah that's where we're headed to right now and um, I hope you guys are good and well please do remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet a subscriber um, and remember to give this video a big thumbs up yeah, I will see you guys when we get to Mind Body Baby. Tomorrow there's no time for 
tomorrow. We are done with our session and that was so so good. She did really really well for the very first time. Um, no crying. She just loves the water. I think maybe because she was born in water. <laughs> um, she really really enjoyed that. So now I'm just um, sitting. They have a feeding room as well which I think is super cute and super convenient um so i'm just sitting and feeding zoe quickly um, and also because we are at centurion mall it's based at centurion mall um inside the is it silo or cello che salino Sel that baby brand <laughs> It's inside that um, baby store. So yeah, if in case you're around um, this area and you want to check it out, that's where it is. So because we are already at the mall, I think I'm gonna walk around and browse a bit. So I wanna make sure that she's well fed so she um, falls asleep. She's actually falling asleep now. So the water is said to calm them um, a lot. So. so they get really really exhausted and she did well so they started her off on um, 10 minutes because it was her first session um, but she actually went through to 15 minutes and then the next session that she's gonna have they're gonna add on to the minutes and so on and so forth until um, yeah it's much longer so you just um, build up as the many sessions that um, she takes part in but yeah i absolutely love it i love the service here as well um absolutely amazing the owner was here and she she seems like she's quite hands-on with um the place as well so that was really nice um to see and to meet her and yeah highly recommend if you are in the area or if you're like around midrand waterfall um i drove from home which took us about I think how long did it take us to get you 15 20 minutes so it's not too bad um, I think it's the same as driving to like um, Greenstone because there's another one in Greenstone I think and then there's something similar as well which is life baby in um, four ways so yeah that's where I used to take Micah but I really 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 love this brunch I think I'm just gonna continue with her um, over here and the ladies were so lovely and helpful so yeah highly highly recommend um, yeah just gonna browse around the mall and then we're gonna head on over home um, I was actually thinking I'm gonna give my mom a call and find out if she's at home because we are in Centurion and her house is like literally down the road so maybe it would be nice to just pop by and give her a little surprise as well but yeah Trying to save myself 
finished off with um, my waxing I feel nice and clean <laughs> I didn't mention where we are um, Shakira and I are on a little um, nail date you can see we are at Korai in Santon and absolutely love it it's such a cute place it's our first time here so I think this will be my new spot for like waxing and doing my feet I didn't get my nails done because I always go to Noma at Sobe so I'll probably book an appointment with her some later on in the week if not next week but yeah so we're done now um Shakira has been waiting for me to finish with my wax and treatment and then we're gonna go have lunch I think we're just gonna go down to Bolt because it's down the road and we can have some hubbly as well that would be great just had the greatest day <laughs> but being out the whole day and being a breastfeeding mom does not go well together my breasts were so engorged oh my gosh I'm pumping right now just to release some of the milk and yeah for the rest of the evening I'm just gonna be with the kiddos and um, what's this I'm just gonna sit in bed and watch trash TV I don't want to do anything else I was thinking of actually um, editing a vlog that I had for vlogtober but honestly I just want to take <laughs> a break and be useless for the rest of the night so yeah I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow or when the vlog continues have a beautiful and blessed night. Hey you guys. <laughs> I know I look a tad bit crazy. But I'm on my way out. I'm going to the salon to um, get this hair sorted. So it's looking like this because I had um, braided it to stretch it out. But... I undid the braids now and I'm gonna go get a treatment done and then I'm gonna apply it to wig lines again just so it's like easily manageable and yeah those are my plans for today this is my day fit I just have on these um, mom fit jeans that I got from Zara I wanna Zara bodysuit. Um, my Liverpool, and I just have on my Gucci sandals and this messy hair. <laughs> okay, let's get going. I'm late actually. So, we are doing a little moisture treatment for my afro that is struggling. <laughs> But yeah, we just did a wash um, and now I'm doing um, a moisture treatment. I'm going to sit here for about 20 minutes and then we're going to wash that out and then I'm just going to plait um, some of
I want to customize one of my wigs and I thought I'd show you guys what it is I do. I'm obviously back from doing my hair and then I also went to the mall just to buy a few stuff for the house and um, la di da da da. Um, checked out the new clicks baby at Mall of Africa and yeah now I'm back in the house so I bought this wig a little while ago I think it's probably like two months ago actually um, from where is, it, where is it from from Nadula hair um, I bought it off of AliExpress so yeah in terms of shipping and all of that it was very quick um i think i got it within like a week a week and a half um i didn't pay much for the shipping um and yeah so that was like quite easy and i'll leave the link for this hair down below if you guys are interested so it's like a honey blonde um curly wig i thought it was much longer than this actually but you know curly hair like curly hair will seem <laughs> will actually be very short when the length is quite um when you think the length is quite long because i purchased a i think it's a 24 inch but it looks quite short obviously because it's curly but anyway, I need to bleach the knots. That's the first thing that I need to do. I think it's already bleached, actually. Oh, the knots are already bleached. Hmm. Then maybe I don't need to bleach the knots. No, I do. They still seem a bit thickish. Some of them. They weren't properly bleached. They still look a bit dark. So I think I'll just bleach the knots. Um slightly it looks like it's bleached already but not properly i don't know should i should i or shouldn't i because over bleaching the knots actually makes them fall off it's not so good for the frontal and it looks like they've pre-plucked it as well hmm i don't know guys do i need to Yo, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, okay, let me do this. I'm just trying to see if the knots are like bleached well enough. I don't think so because I can still see the knots in with some some of the strands. Um. Yikes, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> ah, guys. Wait, let me try and actually put it on because this isn't glued on. Let me actually try and put it on and see what it looks like. I'm wearing this um, group strap. I guess you could call it from I bought it from here city and I just did fresh lines wig lines let me see let me see let me I must say no these knots are actually bleached I think the knots are bleached well enough right do you would you guys agree cause I'm scared that if I actually if I bleach them again, I might actually over bleach the frontal and that could spoil the hair. I mean, it's bleached, but some of it, I don't know if you guys can see there. Some of it is like a bit, it's a bit patchy. There's some bits that are still black, but there's no way I can bleach those without over Okay guys, so it seems like my job here is already done for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not gonna... I've decided I'm not gonna bleach the knots. 
because it's already bleached and I don't want to over bleach it and just damage the frontal entirely so I'm just going to leave it as is and it seems like it's already pre-plucked as well so I don't want to over pluck I'm going to leave it and yeah I'll just um glue this on tomorrow I look crazy right now but I'll glue it on, um, I'll put it on tomorrow and I'll cut and I'll do all of that stuff. Um, hopefully I have enough time to actually record that for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it for today. I'm actually gonna sit and um, edit a vlog. guys so after i left you guys um yesterday i decided to wash the wig that um i was talking about so i gave it a nice wash um put some conditioner in and then i put some like curling cream and mousse and all of that stuff but i actually don't like um how it's turned out i don't really like the look for what i'm going for today and i don't have enough time as per usual i have literally about 15 minutes to quickly do my makeup and head out of the house if i haven't yet mentioned where i'm going i'll do so um later on my way there but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put on a straight um closure wig it's gonna be quick to just um stick on that's not gonna give me too many issues and then yeah we're gonna get going i'm literally gonna do like the quickest makeup i've ever done in my life <laughs> and hopefully look a bit decent and put together um i'm gonna start off with guys this thing mm, fighter so this is revlon um has um that what is it rose glow primer right which i've always loved but now they just came out with um, a, a mist so it's like a spray and i absolutely absolutely love it mm, it just leaves your face looking you know dewy i mean look at that insane i'm not gonna add um primer because my face is quite highly moisturized um, I'm just gonna go in with some eye under eye primer quickly and yeah I'm just gonna speed you guys through everything otherwise I'm gonna take forever to do this if I talk through it so yeah Get so high and drop that thing so low, make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low, make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low, make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here, nah, you can't go back home I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fade faded You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fade faded You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it, you elevate it I came over, I ain't sober, I'm still drunk, that's hangover Might run it back when this page over, you the best thing I done slaved over, gon' arch you back and been way over it's overdue for that understressing Over him, now you underdressing Call me up and I come finessing Like, ooh, we shot it, what it do, what it don't Baby, you a queen, you can move how you want You was rocking with me when I couldn't stay afloat They ain't never saying nothing, wavy to a boat Like, eyes up, look at me, now I'm the captain Brought the camera, time for action Split the legs just like a fraction Tuck the napkin, time for snacking You a mother... You guys, can I tell you, I am so bad at vlogging right now I didn't even tell you guys what... I was getting up to today so I come from um, shooting some content for Zola Joka's um, I think it's Joka 
yes <laughs> her YouTube um, channel so she's doing a series where she plays 30 seconds with a group of people and today's video was with SA youtubers I loved every bit of it um, I met so many awesome youtubers I and mean, it was so nice to just meet everyone everyone is just so nice friendly great because I have a bit of social anxiety <laughs> but honestly like everyone is just amazing amazing peeps so yeah check that video out um, I'm not too sure when it's gonna be out but please do subscribe to Zola's channel absolutely love her um, it's Zola Joga I'll leave in case I'm um, um, pronouncing her surname incorrectly I leave her channel details um, down below and I also leave them in the description box as well so yeah that's what I've been doing today I am driving back home now it's a bit late um, it's like 20 past 6 so yeah driving back home now and that is pretty much what I got up to today Meal. tell me that it's mine baby tell me that it's real hit it to the max well tell me how it feel it's gonna be a minute cause I'm in it for the thrill make her feel like heaven she gonna put me in the wheel and willingly I wanna do anything she wanna do I ain't even wanna boo but this is what the karma do it's hard to be apart from you cause ooh I love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low thank you today is Sunday afternoon favorite day of the week as you guys know um, we are on our way to the spa right now just to have our sort of routine spa um, treatment <laughs> day um, we I mean hubby and I so we have booked ourselves a treatment a facial and um, a body massage at the rain is it rain renaissance rain Am I saying it right? Yeah. Renaissance. <laughs> um, Renaissance. Right? Ra uh? <laughs> 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 Baby. <laughs> um, at Michelangelo in Santon City. So that's where we're headed now. Um, our treatment is at half past two, but it's like quarter to two now. So we're slightly early. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are good and well on this Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Um, service, 
um, according to facilities and according to the treatments that we got so we got a Swedish full body massage and we also got the classic facial as well um, yeah so I'm gonna rate them out of 10 for each each category and I think I'll ask yeah Javi will tell me what he thinks as well so in terms of service the service was really really nice um, the staff is very nice and friendly very professional they have um, these ladies obviously that um, welcome you in as you, you enter the spa dressed very professionally they look really nice you know prim and proper so the service was was great um, I think I'd rated I'd rated like a 9 out of 10 what do you think baby? I'm gonna give them a 9.5 9.5 okay <laughs> and then in terms of the facilities sure. <laughs> 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 the, the, the facilities you guys uh -uh, no 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 it's not um, that bad come on no the thing is hubby is very sweet so he, he won't be honest he won't be honest the facility is too outdated i feel like but also michelangelo as you know the hotel has sort of that i don't know if it's a vintage vibe that they're going for so i would understand why the spa looks like that um i guess so everything can make sense um but yeah i just i just feel like they could do better with the facilities you know they could sort of um make them a little more modern and i think for the facilities, I will give them a 6 out of 10. Yo, that's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one? Yeah. What would you give them? I was going to give them a 5. 5? Yeah. Okay. So, Habi says 5, I say 6. And I think I'm being nice, actually. <laughs> I think I'm being nice with 6. And then, in terms of um, the treatments that we got, like I said, we got a Swedish massage and a facial. And um, those were really nice. I liked it. I, however, am not a fan of the products that they were using. So I, sorry guys, I got cut off. Um, what was I saying? I think I was already rating um, the treatments. The one thing I didn't like about our treatments, um, especially the facial, was the products that they used. Um, so they use they use Nimu, Nimu. Um, yeah, and I don't like the because right now my face feels like it's sort of I don't know tingling with like a menthol. It has like this menthol feeling <laughs> going on. I don't like that. And then in terms of the massage, I really liked the massage. Um, it was quite nice, but it felt like it was too quick. But it was nice. So in terms of the treatments, I will rate them a 7 out of 10. It would have been a 9 if they can change the products that they use. Um, Habi, what do you think? Uh, give them a 9. A 9? Yeah, because I like them. Okay, so you liked your facial as yeah. well? Okay. Okay, yeah, so those are our ratings. So I think on average, it would be like what? Um, 8 out of 10 for everything? Or 7 out of 10 on seven average? Out of 10. Yeah. So, yeah, in case you know you're interested in knowing which spas are good spas to go to in Joburg, um, yeah, I'll start rating the spas that we go to.